Welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Now, this evening, our guest is the presenter of This Morning, who was on the This Morning sofa this morning, <laughs> but is on our sofa this evening. Now she's gone and got herself a Saturday job on the biggest, shiniest new talent show on the telly. Welcome, the vixen of The Voice. It's Holly Willoughby. Yay! I feel at home on a sofa, so it's nice oh, to be good. on this one. Oh, good, good, it's good. not as comfy as it looks, though, is it? It's all right, actually. I quite like it. It's yeah, good, good. Level. good, good, good. So you're doing all these massive telly shows, but we've yeah. got it on good authority, Matt, haven't we? We, we have. That you did want to be a vet. Have a little look at this. Oh. Uh, oh. Originally, I wanted to be a vet, but then my cat got run over and it was about this long, so I thought, no, don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I'd like to be famous. Supermodels, something like that. But I very much doubt that will ever happen, but I can but hope. <laughs> and of course, I'm a natural blonde, as that uh, proves. Well, so yeah. uh, pleased how, about how that. How do you feel about that looking back? I don't know that. Well, how young was I? It was all quite posh and all a bit oh, like this as well. Surely. Surely. <laughs> that was really not. I must have been about 13 or something then. Mm -hmm. 12, maybe. Oh, you look cute. Yeah. Well, supermodeling's <laughs> loss was Telly's gay. Now we'll uh, talk about the voice a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and we. Talk about the voice. Let's do it. It starts on Saturday. I know. I can't wait. We Me saw too. 20 minutes Seriously, earlier. You've I got am your biggest hooked. fan here. You have. Yeah. It is an amazing show. It really is. It's one of those shows that when you're working on it, you can just feel the excitement rumbling through the studio and even through like the crew and, and everybody. Everybody was just like gathered around the monitor watching it because it was yeah. just so exciting. So for all those that haven't had the benefit of looking yes. at that 20-minute taste, yes. there, how does it work? What's it all about? Well, the idea is that our artists come on and they audition in front of our coaches, um, but yeah. the big difference is, is that the coaches have their backs turned to them when they're performing. So yeah. the way that they get to progress within the show is purely down to the sound of their voice. Mm -hmm. It's vocal ability alone. It doesn't matter how you look, what you wear, whether you can dance or not, what, whether you've got a story behind you that can sometimes influence things. Yeah. None of that. It's down to the voice alone. And there's four ju judges and kind of mentors coaches and coaches and stuff. Coaches, coaches really are judges. Judges. Are you calling them? Five pounds in the pot. You're calling them coaches? Okay. <laughs> well, they don't judge people. That's the difference. They're not yeah. here to judge anyone to say, oh, don't give up your day job type yep. thing. They're here to mentor and help and help them progress on their journey. So we've got Jesse J. Yes. So Tom Jones. Danny O'Donnell. Hugh. Yeah, Daniel Donahue and Will I Am. Will I am yeah. And it's kind of a bit like Dragon's Den, isn't it? It is a bit. This is the other big difference. So basically, the coaches have 10 places on their teams to fill. And if one coach turns around and the artist is there singing in front of him, then they automatically get paired up. But if two or more coaches turn around, then it's down to the artist on stage to pick who they want to mentor them. And then it's, the coaches have to go, well, you know, I'm number one right now. Well, I'm this. And, and they have this yeah. weird it's Dragon's so funny Den. Seeing yeah. Tom Jones trying I know. to pitch against Will I Am. Yeah. Going, I'm better because I've heard Elvis. Exactly. <laughs> it's really funny. He pulls out the Elvis card. Yeah, he does, compete? yeah, yeah. Good. But OK, but we'll have a quick look because they're all performances. They're not actually kind of music execs. Let's yeah. just have a quick look. Yeah, here. let's have a look. An amazing super group. I know. Well, that's the very start of the show. You see them all come together and do this amazing great performance. And from that moment, you're just sold that here are four of the world's biggest artists yeah. in music. But and then just some, into it. some contestants were really brave because they actually sang the artist song yes. in the audition. They and did. we've got um, Jessica Hammond here yeah. who did just that. We'll have a little look. Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn Have a good time. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Can you feel that? Yeah, we're playing with the love tonight. It's not about the money. money. There you go. Well, Jessica's 17 and she literally sings in her bedroom. She has a songbook of music that she's written. Music is her life. It gets her through every day. And, and for her, she wouldn't have been entering any other sort of competition, just this, because of what it stood, stands for. Mm. And we were watching it and we actually both of us <laughs> sat there with our eyes closed yeah, and did. all I wanted was a swivel chair. I know. So you can sort of play at home. I know. You know I really like you were doing it backstage with our swivel chairs trying to play along. You can just shut your eyes. That's the easier way to it's do it. It's going to be 
be so many people watching it but not watching it at I know. the same time. I know. That's what are they going to look like? <laughs> Just sitting there like this. Uh, so, yeah, any, any surprises then as far as the auditions are concerned? There are surprises. There'll be people that people know that yeah. have already had careers. There'll be people that people have been to see their concerts already that walk onto stage and auditions. But, of course, the yeah. coaches don't know that. We saw it. And we, won't, we won't reveal it. No, no, you, you won't reveal it. No, no. I, and, I, and I would have swung around and then I would have wanted to go back. But, of course, they can't do that. Yeah. Once, there are, once the judges once have turned, the coaches, sorry, they've They're turned. In. That's it. Yeah. But you are going up against Britain's Got Talent yes, on Saturday. I know, I know. Is it going to be a ratings war? I don't know. I mean, everybody yeah. says this. To be honest, we're not entering into it. I think it's the, it's the same as when Jessie J says the music industry isn't about not having a number one. It's about, you know, touring. It's about writing the music. And we just want to make the best show that we possibly can. So for us, it's not about winning. It's not about the number one. It's about yeah. making the perfect show. Well, having seen the preview, I know what side I'd be on. <laughs> it's thrill. <laughs> The Voice yeah. starts 7 p.m. BBC One on Saturday. Thank OK, you. now one of uh, nature's... That doesn't come even close to Holly's connection to cooking. Honestly, yeah. I have the most amazing story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 hello. 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 Good to see you, Freddie. Hello. 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 Yes. Um, when you said cuckoos, I thought yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, you've had a busy day, haven't you? Busy day. We've sport been right? trying to break and set world records all day for Sport Relief. Yeah. Has it been um, successful so far? It has up to 13. We wanted to do 12 and 13. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Goodness me. Right. Well. I feel a few as well, though. Now, yeah. I hear, Freddie, that you need an assistant. I do, yeah. In the shape of me. Yeah, this is for the last one. I need to tape someone to a wall. I need to do it in <laughs> just over 40 seconds, but you've got a hang there. Like a, a bat. Minute, and I don't know what I'm Strap doing. To the wall. Are you going right. to help? Because oh, if you come do, on, then. Let's give it a go. It. You've already done I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. much heavier. It'll take Okay, right, everyone, over we go. We've right. prepared a wall and everything for you, Freddie. Just have a look and see if this is to your liking. Is this to a, to a world record tipper's liking? I don't know we've got an expert here. Yeah, okay, yes, well, speaking of which, we have got Rod, uh, Rob here, who is a Guinness World Hi Record adjudicator. Good to see you, Rob. Hi there. Um, I'm going to put on this fetching hoodie. Yes, what? what I've had to wear this all day. Rob, what does Freddie have to do here to make it legit? OK, so this is a Guinness World Record attempt for the fastest time to duct tape a person to a wall. <laughs> person being taped to the wall needs to weigh at least 50 kilograms. Well, yes, I am fat oh. enough, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The space in which they can be taped has to be no larger than 155 centimetres by 230 centimetres. Okay. That's fine. Good. Record to beat is 41.6 seconds. You can do it, Freddie. I'm as, 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 as Freddie said, though, once he's taped Alex to the wall, she then needs to stay there wow. for a minute without want? falling. Still. Still. So I think it's yeah. down to Freddie's taping yeah. ability as to whether she stays to the wall or not. Right. She'll start on a block. When he's finished the taping, the block is taken out. She has to remain suspended for at least a minute. How are you feeling, Freddie? Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that confident. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Hey, Rika, you there. don't start. What I need you to do, I'm sorry, I need you to, like, you sat on the toilet. All oh, right. Right, OK. okay. Ollie, yeah. ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Put your arms in. Robbie, I'm ready. ready. Let's get the one doing over. Two. Stick your arms out. Okay. Okay. One. Go. Go. That's it. That exactly. Going Freddy, good. Ten on. seconds. Ten oh, seconds are gone. Ten, Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten There's seconds. the swing. You've got the swing in. Oh, he's got the swing. Yes, yeah, yeah, this is the suspension. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty left. Can we can we help? I don't know, can we no. help or not? No. Thirty seconds. Come on, Freddie, you can do it. No helping, no this helping. This is good, no this helping. is good. You have to 35. Be Four, oh, three, three oh, two. Yeah. Stop. Stop taping. Right, we're going to remove the block. No. Oh, Ready? oh, my God. We're going to remove it. <laughs> One, go. OK, no, go. it hasn't worked. <laughs> it hasn't worked. <laughs> wow, Freddy. Well, do you know what? It was a I'm good sorry. effort. It's fine. Effort. How do, I mean, that's such a shame. But like you said, you have already that's beaten... Sorry. The record of the records that you were after this morning. So we have, yeah, and we've had a lot of fun doing it, but it's obviously about sport relief and yeah. Yeah. raising awareness and people donating. So we've had a good day, but. So, so would you say that uh, covering Holly in paper was more sort of effective than that, than Gaffer Not really. The wall? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a better attempt than this morning, wasn't Oi. it? What? <laughs> Sorry, what are you working with? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Freddie. Yes. Thank you so thanks. much. And thank you so much, Holly. Thank you. The thank Voice you. will start uh, Saturday on BBC One at 7 o'clock.
Yes, tomorrow we're going to be joined by Engelbert Humperdinck, can you believe, who breaks the silence on becoming the UK's contender for the Eurovision 2012. We'll see. Yeah.